the Bitcoin Oracle is what you were dubbed. But then back earlier this year, you said you sold out most of your holdings in Bitcoin. Do you regret it? And why don't you buy this rally? Well, look, I... Uh I decided that at the start of the year, there were a lot of risks on the horizon. I mean, obviously, Bitcoin had a really good run. Last year, Bitcoin was sitting at around 400 where I made the, the call to buy. And I said, look, this is, this is something that's going to go up. And when we got to a point where there looks like there are a couple of hard forks this year, which creates sort of technical risk for Bitcoin, I decided that there was a risk on scenario that I didn't like personally for my portfolio. And I decided to reduce my holdings in Bitcoin. Uh, but, you know, I still hold Bitcoin, so I've been very happy with the run. Of course, there's still ongoing concern about yet another opportunity for a hard fork to occur as soon as November. Do you expect that risk to become a reality? I do. At this point in time, we have roughly 85% of the mining hash power um, you know, standing behind Segwit 2x, which is a proposal to to upgrade Bitcoin uh, in a sense. Um, and there's some debate over whether it's an upgrade or not, but it's really about the block size going from one megabyte to two megabyte with um, Segwit, which is added to it. So these are all very technical terms that we're now hearing, and this is about trying to expand the transaction size of Bitcoin and making it basically more of a means of transaction, a means of payment, rather than perhaps just a store of value. We've had a, a Roger McNamee joining the show saying, look, he doesn't buy Bitcoin as a currency. He sees it much more as a commodity. Will Bitcoin and indeed other cryptocurrencies become a me method of payment rather than a store of value? Look, I, I think that the store of value analogy is very good. It just is it's something which I've been saying for a while. I think Bitcoin becomes a store of value if it becomes more of a, uh, a payment method. Um, and the, the, I mean, you know, my, my view on Bitcoin was it started off with something which was a speculative you know, commodity, the world's first digital commodity. And then it became a, a medium of exchange, which we started using for transactions. And then in the long term, as the price rises and it becomes more stable in price, it becomes a store of value. Um, stores of value are not typically super volatile. So you're looking for things which you know are going to consistently rise, um, you know, every single month and year, and you can actually store value in it. Bitcoin has been very volatile this year. I mean, you know, a month ago, we're sitting at 1700 or six weeks ago, at 1700. Now we're at 4700. So so that's pretty volatile, but it's been, you know, again, it's in, a, it's in a good run right now. It could continue to go up to, you know, sky's the limit. I, I wouldn't put a number on it, but um, my, my issue has been with the technical risks.